Welcome to Unit 1. It's called Appearance. And today we are dealing with Lesson 5, Changeable Tina. My name's Alexandra, and today we are working together. Communicative area of the lesson includes agreeing and disagreeing, being polite. Active vocabulary of the lesson is a bit, blonde, ponytail, slightly, and wavy. So let's start our lesson. Let's answer the questions below. Would you like to look different? What would you like to change in your appearance? Would you like to look like someone famous? Let's look at the picture dictionary. Let's read the words together. Curly hair, straight hair, wavy hair, blonde, a ponytail. Now let's answer the questions below. Number one. What other adjectives can you use to describe hair? What kind of hair have you got? Would you like to have different hair? Is the girl in the picture in exercise 1 good looking? What kind of hair has she got? Now let's read the beginning of the story about Tina, a girl in the photo in exercise 1. Be ready to answer the questions. What did Tina decide to do? Is Tina happy with her appearance now? How do you know? Tina didn't used to like the way she looked. All her friends, family and even teachers told her she was very pretty, but she didn't listen to anybody. So one winter day, she thought she would change her appearance. First, she decided to become blonde. Now, we are going to read Tina's story below and say when each photograph was taken. Let's read the story together. In January, Tina had shoulder-length blonde hair and looked like a Barbie doll. Her eyes were dark grey because of the cold weather. She looked a bit pale but really pretty. In March, Tina still thought she was ugly. So she had her hair cut again and looked just lovely with short, wavy red hair. She looked pale after winter, but her beautiful eyes were shining. In April, Tina had short red hair, which made her eyes look green. She looked like a handsome boy, though she looked slightly fatter. In June, she went to the seaside and got a little sun tanned. Her hair was straight and shoulder length again. Tina looked like a Japanese girl. In July, she had freckles and her hair was straight, long and fair. She looked very beautiful with her bony tail. In August, she had long curly blonde hair. She was suntanned and had freckles all over her face. Her eyes looked blue and she looked like an angel. In October, Tina had to have her hair cut shorter as it wasn't thick and healthy anymore. She started wearing glasses to look cleverer. In December, Tina still wore glasses. She looked a bit pale again, but she took up jogging and was much fitter. Unfortunately, her hair looked terrible. Look at the answers.
How did the story finish? What do you think Tina can do now? Look back at the story and answer the questions in the box. A bit plus adjective. Is it a little or very? Slightly plus adjective. Is it a little or very? Is slightly a synonym to the word a bit? Here are the answers. A bit and slightly plus adjectives means a little. And yes, they are synonyms. Why do we use these adverbs before adjectives? Now, complete the sentences below with a bit or slightly or a little or very. Now, contact your classmate and check in pairs. If you disagree with your partner, be polite. Use the language help boxes. For agreeing, use the phrases, yes, that's right, I agree. For a disagreeing, use such beginnings as, I'm sorry, but I have to disagree, in my opinion. Or just the phrase, I don't think so. Complete the sentences below with a bit, slightly, a little or very. For example, in my opinion, Shrek is very fat, for example. I think Harry Potter looks a bit funny, for example. Ask your partner to fill in the gaps. Agree or disagree with his or her opinion. Use the phrases again. For today, guys, that's all. Thank you very much for your participation. I wish you to have a good day. Goodbye.